Okay, so this one says draw all important resonance structures for the following molecule or ion, I guess I should say. Okay, so resonance structures. How do I show resonance structures? The motion of two arrows. electrons, right? We're going to show it with the curly arrows, okay? So, and how do I show um, what's the resonance arrow look like? You guys remember? Double -headed arrow. The double headed arrow, okay? So, we're going to show that to indicate another resonance structure. Okay. So, do we have any electrons that can move around in this thing for a resonance structure? Which ones are they? The pi bond. The pi bond electrons. So we have some here. So to do one resonance structure, let's just do one. Like that. positive charge here, what does there have to be over here? A negative charge. Or another positive charge. A positive charge, charge right? <laughs> Yo, don't just say what somebody else is saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Same charge has to be on both sides of the uh, arrow. Okay? So is that the only resonance structure? No. There are more? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a ton more. You can make a ton of them. I'm so excited. Yeah. Where's the positive charge going to be here? Where it was before. The last step. I don't know. That? In the corner? Yeah. Okay. Is there any more? <laughs> Should we do another one? Okay. Yeah. Like that? Is that good? Yes. Okay. You can move the lone pair outside, right? There is no lone pair. So, I mean, well, not sure. yet, right? Not not yet, but we, we, we're going to do one of those two, okay? Okay. Yeah, we'll make one of the pi bonds a lone pair is what you're saying, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Let's see if we're still on. So these would be the more major resonance contributors. Then of course, um, like Sheldon was saying, we could break up some more of those charges. Like for here, if you want to, which pi bond did you want to move? Any of them? This one, or this one, or this one? Uh, I drew it. Oh, okay. Uh, Should I just do one and see if you got something similar? The, uh, the bottom one. This one here? Yeah. Okay, so let's draw that and show another resonance structure. So what we could do, instead of moving it back over there, which would be this resonance structure, we could instead take these electrons and move them outside the ring as a lone pair there. Okay? This is going to be a very minor re the resonance structure, and you'll see why, and I want you to tell me why. Huge, you got that charge separation and that high amount of charges, okay? Both, both of which are bad. Of course, you could do that with all of these. You could move them all, break them all up. And then can you do it all at the same time? Yeah, that's a resonance form, but a very, very minor contributor. So, for this 
hypothetically, for the exam, how many of these were you actually looking for? I think, I, I, for this one, I wanted you to just draw as many as you wanted to. I think for an exam, probably you'd say three, right. maybe. And would, out of this, what would you choose for the major and the minor ones? Obviously, the one with the multiple charges would be the most minor. Um, I mean, would the second one be the most major? Oh, yeah. I would say that the ones within the the um, the positive charge within the ring to be the more major ones. The reason being is because carbocations that have more carbons associated with them, so like a tertiary carbocation is more stable than a secondary, which is more stable than a primary because carbon has more electron density to donate than hydrogen does, okay? So, since there's two carbons here, right, that's going to be more stable than just the one carbon being donated there, okay? Yes? So, for the whole thing, which one, how can you find the, which, which one is the more stable? Well, so the more, um, the one that's contributing the most to, like I was saying, you're going to want to look at no charge separation, so this is no good, and the one that has the most carbons around it, okay, for the positive charge. Like charge more, like the more charges, that's the worst it can be. No, I mean, like, uh, they have one positive charge, then they have, like, uh, if they have more carbons, carbons uh -huh. then they will count. No, more stable. Oh, and if you have a hetero atom next to that positive charge, then it makes it even more stable. Okay? Like an oxygen. Okay. So the one with the most charges, that would be least significant. Least significant, yes. Uh -huh. so or the minor contributor, is what you would say. Of the three of the top that just have one charge, which one's the most significant? Well, yeah, the two on the, I mean, these the two, the these, the most carbons around these two, for the three on the top, I would say, I would want you guys to think these two are equal. And this one is less significant. Right, because the carbons are around. Well, because there's two carbons connected to the carbocation as opposed to just one carbon. Right, okay. okay. So that's, that, that's what I was getting at. So that mm -hmm. one, the two on the not that it, because it's a cyclic structure. It would be more significant than that one. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. Any other questions on this? I think we killed it. <laughs>